Hello and welcome to a very special episode of Tan Pants Sands Max. Again. Yep. Max is just a busy guy. You know, after having Max not in the episode, we kind of got used to it. And like, this is actually kind of nice. And it's kind of like, we're missing some of that Max magic that he kind of brings. Yeah. There is gotta, some, there's some Max something's magic. Not, something's not right. We got to sit him down and say, well, Max, things just aren't really working out. I think we're going to have to part ways. We're going to have to operate. We're going to open up that knee. There's a little wire behind the kneecap. We just got to snip. And then you're all good. <laughs> what? I don't know. I just thought that would go somewhere funnier. Right, but it didn't. didn't really. Tan pants. Yeah, Clay's wearing tan pants for camera. Josh is wearing tan pants for camera. I'm not. I'm not wearing tan pants, unfortunately. You could. You could be lying. Hey, don't there's never no, know. There's no videographical evidence. No, there's no camera under the table. No. What if we had? What if we had an under the table camera? <laughs> That'd be weird. So under the could, table, so you could see our golem down there. <laughs> There's just a golem down Chained there. Chained down there with one of those big metal balls. Ew! Why are we chaining a golem under well, the go- podcast Gollum's table? Evil. Yeah, we but why do else? we? Why would we want him under our podcast table? I don't know. We have nowhere else to put him. Well, I mean, he would cause all kinds of mischief down there. He would pull <laughs> our leg hair. Yeah, he would. He would take the big ball and hit our toes with it. Yeah. But he can't move the ball. That's why he can't move at all. I mean, the ball just kind of makes movement difficult. It doesn't hinder yeah. movement. Yep. So uh, <laughs> let me ask. Let, let, let's play a hypothetical game. All right. You're on the top of a high hill, almost a mountain, I would say. And there's a big rock. The rock mm-hmm. is kind of round, kind of ball shaped, and it's kind of on the precipice. Do you push it down? Yes. Clay says yes. What do you do, Josh? Do you push this down? Well, I would if there were nobody nobody in the trajectory. Nobody in the trajectory of, of the ball? Yeah. Okay. Well, there is a ball in India. Okay. In the, in the, in the historical coastal resort town of Ma- Mamalapuram. 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 I, I, I won't be able to say this right. But okay. um, there is a giant boulder. So let, let me kind of, for the audio listeners, let me kind of paint a picture here. Imagine you're at the, at the beach, right? There's water over here. But behind you, there's a tiny little slope going up. Not very mm-hmm. high. Just enough so like a kid would comfortably slide down if they wanted to. And it's like smooth stone. The slope is smooth stone. Okay. And on top of the slope, not on top, but like actually on the slope, is a massive 200-ton boulder in the shape of a ball that's just sitting on this slope. It is asking to be pushed. It's been there for 2,000 years. Wow. It's asking for it. It it's has. So several waiting. people have tried to push down this ball, yeah. down this hill. Let me, sh- let me show you guys a, a, a picture of it. Is it the ninth wonder of the world? It is probably the ninth wonder of the world. Look how dangerous <laughs> that looks. <laughs> That it looks that does look very tempting. Looks very dangerous. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use my high tech editing skills and show the uh, video listeners. Ha! There it is. <laughs> Let me even focus. I'm gonna focus real good. Here it comes. Oh yeah. We have footage of you look doing that. that. Look at that footage right there. Look at that amazing, totally blown out footage. Oh yeah. Look at that boulder. You guys can totally see that boulder. Okay, I'm going to go back to you guys again. So anyway, more about this giant ball. It has a name. Is it Mount Ball? <laughs> it's not Mount Ball. It's known as Krishna's Butterball. Okay. So uh, the legend uh, is... Some lady named Krishna, who's probably a pagan god. According to the Hindu scriptures, Lord Krishna often stole butter from his mom. <laughs> this may have led to the namesake of the boulder. That's the odds oh, all the explanation it gives. Did he so, stole butter. He stole butter. Did he? Stole and butter? now we have a giant boulder on this precipice. So is he like a full grown man stealing butter from his mom, or just a kid sneaking butter in the middle of the night? I think this is I, this is a full grown man because mom made good butter. Right. 
And he's like, I got to get some of my mom's butter. Right. And he can't come up and ask for it because that's awkward. No, he has to go man. steal it. No, no, listen. His mother makes the butter and she puts it in her purse. And he's like, that's weird. Well, it's <laughs> that's weird. I'm going to take it and just throw it out. And it became that big ball. Right. Well, it says specifically that he stole butter from his mother's handy. What's a handy? A handy is like a pot. It's like oh. a very specific pot. For keeping butter safe. For keeping butter safe from your thieving son. So uh, a lot of people have failed to move the boulder. Uh, the Indian king, uh, Tamal Raja Raja Kola. <laughs> his, his name is Tamil Raja Raja Kola. Uh, he was inspired by the balance of this massive stone boulder, and it inspired. led to the creation of never-falling mud dolls called Tenveyor Bami, which, having a half-spherical base, tend to come back to a traditional position oh. every time one tries to make it fall. It's like those, those toys. Those toys yeah. were invented by this guy. Butterball man. After the butterball boulder. So whenever your baby's playing with that little thing, yeah, it's it's it came from this little Indian boulder, not mm-hmm. little, this giant Indian boulder that's about to kill somebody. Yeah. In 1908, uh, the governor of the city, Arthur Havelock, made an attempt to use seven elephants to move the boulder from its position due to safety concerns, but okay. to no success. And then the latest uh, bit is uh, in, in 2019, Indian Prime Minister... Narinda Modi and Chinese President it's, Xi Jinping. It's, it's like Naretna Modi. Oh, Naretna Modi? Yeah. And then the Chinese President Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping. Yeah. This is the guy who really doesn't yeah. like Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. 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 They took a picture in front of the Krishna Butterball holding hands during their second <laughs> informal summit. Ooh, I bet they like each other. I bet they like each other. So the boulder is approximately uh, 20 feet high and 16 feet wide. It weighs 250 tons, and it seems to float and barely stand on a slope on the top of a uh, a one-and-a-half-meter-high Plymouth, which is a naturally eroded hill and is said to have been in the same place for 1,200 years. So not quite 2,000. A part of the boulder on the top back has eroded away, making it look like like a half-spherical rock from the back. That was everything... That I could find out about. It still stands? It still stands to this day. You can go to India. You can visit Krishna's Butterball that he stole from his mom. I want to backtrack and say, what was what was going on with that mayor? It's been there for like thousands of years. Maybe. He's like, this is a safety hazard. You know what? Maybe. That's going to kill somebody someday. Well, that that was just his excuse. He just really wanted. <laughs> just out of his He's manly like, um I instinct. want to be the man who moved the Butterball. Right. I will move the butterball by the end of this day. Give me seven elephants, and I will move this butterball. You failed. Oh, Why no. seven? Well, seven's like a whole like a like a whole. It's a number. lot of elephant. <laughs> I mean, have you tried to get eight elephants somewhere? Come on. Seven yes. elephants is like pushing it. That's impressive. You probably should have got a tractor or something. Yeah. They had those yeah. in nineteen oh eight. No. They didn't have tanks? No. Well, they have in 1908. 1908 didn't have elephants. They didn't have anything. Oh, they had elephants, I guess. Yeah. They didn't even have a chip shortage. India wasn't even real. What was India back then? What was it called? It just wasn't there. It just kind of popped into existence like two months ago. It's like, wow. Time for the smooth, charismatic intro to my topic. Okay. Wow, Isaac. That was pretty funny. You thought you know Krishna's butterball was funny? <laughs> you know what else is What do you funny? think was funny about the Krishna's bar- butterball? It's funny because the butterball is really big, so that means Krishna's mom was really big. Oh! 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 Dude, you better apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Krishna. Poor giant Krishna sky god. <laughs> They're like a billion Indian gods, and Krishna is like one of them. Had a lot of butter. He had a lot of butter. That's all I know about that guy. If the butter... How come it hasn't melted yet? I don't know why that got equated to him stealing butter. They didn't explain the connection. <laughs> they just said, yeah, he stole butter from his mom. Well, you see, when the matter of butter gets mm-hmm. transported I like from that we've one started, universe to the other, it changes its We've started Clay's structure. topic, and we're still talking about the butter. Yeah, what, yes. what's really funny? Uh, I'm still reading it. 
Well, um, uh, one thing about butter, I heard another Indian legend about the creation of the world, and right. supposedly the first man was lonely, and then the, 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 whoever made him, whatever God it was, says, why are you so lonely? What you need? He's like, give me a bunch of butter. <laughs> and so he gave him a bunch of butter, and he made a wife made out of butter. And then she came to life, was a butter the, wife. Was that the Lando Lakes what? lady? That was the Lando <laughs> Lakes lady. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it no. probably is. I'm talking about Indians over in India, not yeah. American Indians. Well, the Land of Lakes ladies, well, American Indians. There still Indian. could be a connection. Josh, Think about it. There's, there's a connection. There's a connection. So, sure, there's Somehow. a connection. I, I remember I, I, I got a book from the library a long time ago that went through a bunch of different creation myths. Okay. They did the Christian one, and then they're like, now here are all the other ones. <laughs> and we're like, Okay, that's kind of straight. And they get to the butter later. Like, okay, <laughs> that's odd. Boy, that sure is funny. That is that funny sure right is funny. there. You know what else is funny? What is it? Tell me about it. War. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but as you may have, have known already, uh, there's a war. Between Russia and Ukraine. If you call it right. a war, I'd call it like a uh, invasion. A strong disagreement. <laughs> yeah. With rockets. Yeah. But, you know, there's been hit by, Russia has been hit by a lot of uh, economic repercussions, a lot of sanctions, embargoments. Yeah. And businesses leaving the country. Okay. One of those businesses is McDonald's. Yeah, that, 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 what? that's a jerk move. I think all these companies leaving Russia, they're not hurting the people in charge who are making the decision. They're just hurting the poor people of Russia. They're hurting the economy in general, kind of. They're hurting the economy. Yeah. And then, like, but they're, like, they're, like, a bunch of, like, they're, they're, they're families in Russia. There are people who, like, don't want to attack anyone. They're just living their life in Russia. And mm -hmm. when they wake up one morning and McDonald's, like, you all suck. No McDonald's for you. And they go, ah. Oh. You know the alternatives in Russia suck. We need McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. Well, Vladimir Putin did say he wanted to nationalize McDonald's. What does that mean? Putin. So He's Putin like, likes McDonald's. Yeah. He's like, a little like, salty. Well, he about said it. some of these businesses that leaves was like we could just nationalize them. Like you get rid of their trademarks, so that, that way they can't own their name anymore. Mm. And you just have oh, okay. Russian McDonald's. Okay. What's McDonald's gonna do? Uh, they can't do anything. They technically have, I mean, think about it. They have people who work there already. They have buildings. All they got to do is say, yeah, we know we're taking these over. It's an official takeover. <laughs> yeah. But one man is taking the stand against McDonald's. Mm. His name is Luka Safranov. What is, is his name is Safran? Luka Safran? Safranov. Luka Safran. That's a cool name. He was filmed in front of the Moscow restaurant. Of McDonald's, as it was closing to stop them from leaving, he chained he chained himself to the McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make me leave. <laughs> closing down is an act of hostility against me and my fellow now, citizens. Well, <laughs> you have to say it in a Russian accent. Closing down, I, I can't do a Russian accent. Like, closing down, Andy. Closing down the Russian McDonald's is very bad for Russian businesses. That's the best I could do. Yeah. What did he change himself, chain himself to? Uh, McDonald's. Like the sign, the takeout. <laughs> the, he chained himself take to the sign. Chain. I'm staying in the bulldozer. Like, no! <laughs> <laughs> He's like over by the sign. Oh. Uh, doesn't say exactly what he chained himself to. Did he trap people inside Wait. the McDonald's? No, he just no, chained no, no. himself to <laughs> They something. mentioned that like other customers just like they were coming and going, just walking by him. So they were still getting food, and yeah. he was chained not getting food. Yes. <laughs> but he's like, you can't make me leave. Just imagine like people are just walking by like, what's that guy doing? What are you doing? <laughs> it's funny. That was funny, yeah. That, that is very funny. funny. You know? Imagine strapping, chaining yourself to McDonald's. Refusing like, to leave. That's well, I mean, of all the things you could decide to, to care about that much to chain yourself to, you picked. I mean, you, you picked McDonald's. Yeah. yeah. Maybe McDonald's is different over there. Maybe it's not as such of a cultural joke as it is in America. 
Oh, yeah, um, it was maybe a big in Russia, deal. it's like a it's a, it's it's a more appreciated thing. It is because it was like the symbol of American capitalism, and it was one of the first businesses that came to Russia after like communism in the Soviet Union. So it was a big deal. Wow, they had like lines going down like blocks. Like I gotta get my Big Mac. Oh, one of those American Big Macs. I gotta try it. Oh boy, See, that's sad. They said they took that away. Mm. Yeah, people are selling them online. Yeah, they're selling them. Like I saw one where it went wow. for like forty four dollars. Forty four dollars. Amusing. Because like, let's see here. I only took one bite for four burgers. An order of nuggets and dipping sauce went for three hundred and twenty five dollars. Mean, Less meal for family before we go to war. Remember when you were talking about the hogweed and we were talking about Russia not having any food? So they're <laughs> spying on America and they zoom in with Google Maps and it's really blurry. Oh, yeah. And they see hogweed. He's like, we think they are eating this. <laughs> we're pretty sure they're eating this stuff here on the ground. <laughs> but of course, that didn't really happen. That was our, <laughs> that was our funny. interpretation of it. <laughs> How big was the guy who chained himself to the McDonald's? Was he uh, large? Was he like a big Russian guy? I don't guy? think this one has a photo. Because I think I did see a picture of this, and I think he was a big boy. Oh, yeah, he was big. Uh, let me see if I can get a picture of this guy. It's how I survive Russian winter. I need to stock up. Maybe he has like a, a girlfriend, and she's like, I only date fat men. <laughs> he's like, oh, no, I need the McDonald's. She's, she's like super intense, and she's like, I only date fat men. He's like, I will become fattest man for you. <laughs> he used to be this big bodybuilder. Right. He's like, I will go park at this McDonald's. <laughs> and she says, go uh, do this. Go do this. <laughs> <laughs> That's a strange relationship. That's, that's probably a pretty toxic relationship. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. If, if they want you to make big changes like that, you probably shouldn't. Like, yeah. like to enter the relationship. You got got any, anything else to say about McDonald's chain man? He's that, that this is the biggest moment of his life. Yeah, he, he's he's yeah. literally almost everyone around the world has probably heard about him. Yeah, and mentioned him at dinner, and then forgot about him. They're gonna <laughs> like listen. They're gonna be like, he's gonna be sitting there with his grandkids. They're like, Grandpa, what did you do during the war? He's like. I chained myself to the McDonald's. And that was mentioned in this podcast. And he clicks play and it's our podcast. And a right. whole new generation of fans go, wow. wow, Whoa, Tan Pants, the Tan. world's most popular podcast. You were on yeah. their show right before Mr. B. Stephen right. and Joe Rogan. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he talked about you first. This is right, grandkids. Yeah. Now come with us. We will go to the Russian McDonald's that we nationalized. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as good as the American, but it's all we have. It's all we have, and we are grateful. We will go pick up your skinny mother as well. <laughs> <laughs> we will all go get Big Macs. Uh, uh, you know, I saw like a, a Japanese girl was trying to say that her PC was, was, it, was it was beefy. She yeah. couldn't think of the word, so she's like, it is beef. Beef PC, Big Mac PC. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I, I understand. We understand. And I even respect that. It's yeah. funny, but in like, you're cool. That's, that was that was good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My computer is not even beef. No man, my computer got no beef on it. Be- I would not call it beef. You have the potato PC. It's not potato either. It's probably like like a ripe. Potato. Um, eggplant. Your PC is. Uh, um, what do you uh, say? Potato. What's the What's the word for the gravel on your shoe? Oh crap! <laughs> 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 it's worse good. than potato. Who wants to play? Who wants to have a budget with two digits in it? I would like to, but I forgot the quiz question, so we're not going to play it this week. We have something else we're going to do. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 20. Clay, guess what it is? 20. No, we're not going to play this game. <laughs> we're going to play 20 questions. Oh, okay. okay. so if you guys don't know, 20 questions is a game where you ask 20 questions to try to guess what the thing is you're trying to guess. Mm-hmm. Everyone knows how to play this game. So, Josh, how would you like to go first? So th- think of something like a really weird and funny, like for like podcast level funny, man. Okay. We're going to try to guess at me and Clay. 
All right. Between the two of us, we have 20 questions. Let me know when you thought something. How, obs- how obscure can it be? Oh, it could be. Uh, I want the reveal to be funny. Like, okay. Clay, would you like to take the first question? Is it a person? Yeah. Okay, okay. Is it Elon Musk? No. Okay, that's two questions. Gone. Are they fictional? Yes. Fictional person. Is this a fictional person from a book? No. No. Okay, fictional person not from a book. So probably from a movie. Is it Shrek? <laughs> no. It's not Shrek. That's five questions, Clay. Okay. Is this fictional person in a film? No. Not from a book, not from a film. So, listen, fictional people can only exist in, <laughs> in, two, po- in two possible mediums. Is this person human? No. Not human. Okay, so it's not in a book, not in a movie. Is this person in a video game? Yes. Okay, video games often exist as books, so the character you're thinking of is probably in a book, and maybe even also in a movie. I don't know. Okay, fine. Is this in a video game made before you were born? No. Okay, so more recent. Josh was born when this Is this, this video out. game a platformer? No. It's not a platformer. That's 10 questions, Clay. We're halfway gone. Mm-hmm. I'm all the way gone. <laughs> <laughs> Clay is gone. Okay, so it's not a platformer. It was made after you were born. At least you felt pretty sure about that. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, after you were born. Uh, is this a game that you have played? Yes. Yes. Okay, you've played it. Is the game Halo? Yes. Is Halo? It came out before you were born. No, in the game with the, I can't give you any more information. Oh, so this game, okay, obscure. So is is this a playable character? Yes. Okay, so it's either, it's either. Okay, so if we're talking, okay, I'm gonna get very nerdy now. It's either Master Chief, it's either Arbiter, or it's any of the people from ODST. Or any of the people from Reach. <laughs> There's enough information. Man. Does this person talk? Yes. Okay. How many questions is that? Uh, you have six left. Six left. Okay. Okay. Is this, a, is this from ODST? No. Okay. So it's Reach. Wait, do you know any characters' names from Reach? No. <laughs> okay. I almost asked if they survived Reach, but nobody survived Reach. <laughs> Oh, man. I feel like we've alienated, like, most of our audience. We're just talking about Halo now. Okay. Welcome to the new Halo podcast. This is the Halo podcast where Josh yeah. talks about obscure Halo characters that you can play in Halo Reach that talk. So it's, 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 not the, it's not the silent one. It's one of the talking. So hang on. You don't play as any of the talking people in Reach. You only play about you who doesn't talk. We get a question back because you're wrong. Are we wrong? No. I've answered all the questions correctly. Okay, then we must be talking about one of the voices in the firefight you could use. <laughs> no. You have all the answers. Remember some of the first questions you asked? What did he what did, what did say? Well, I can't tell you. I don't remember all those questions. The first, what did we ask first, Clay? Clay, what did we Clay ask asked first? it. Clay, what did you ask? Is it a person? And so I said, yeah. It is a person. So, okay, so it is a person. Is this person and they're a, not human. Are they human? No, we already asked that question. He said no. You said no to human. Yeah. Oh, they're not human. There's only one playable character in Reach, and they're human. It's not Reach. Clay, this game is going to be so mad. We only have five questions left. Oh, five five questions left. Okay, five questions left. So it, it's not a human. It's a playable character. Is it Cortana? No. Uh-huh. Oh, is it the Arbiter? Yes. Oh, it's just the Arbiter. <laughs> I was like, you literally <laughs> almost guessed it. It's so just many the times. Arbiter. Just the Arbiter. Arbiter from, from Lord of the Rings. Thank you yep. very much for that. Clay, would you like to go? Uh, no. Sorry. Okay. Uh, first question, Clay. Is this a person? Yes. It is a person. Is it a fictional person? No. What you got, Josh? Is this a politician? Yes. Okay. Is it Joe Biden? <laughs> no. Okay, it's not Joe Biden. That was, that was the third question. That was the third question. Is this person... Uh, so it's a politician. Is this a... I don't want to say powerful politician because technically all of them are weaklings. Is this politician. American? Yes. It is American. What are the branches of government, Josh? Do you know what the branches of government? Republican? No, the branches <laughs> The branches of government. Actually, know. that is, is it a Republican? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, no. It must be like libertarian oh, no. or something like that. Oh, this is, this is obscure. We're not going to know this person. In a weird we only really know like the top three people. 
and maybe not even them. Look, we got 20 questions. We okay, got okay. plenty of tries. Okay, we, we could just start naming We got to figure out male or female. Yeah. Is it a male? Is it a male? Yes. Okay. It's a dude. Right. This is a dude. I only know male politicians. <laughs> you know Kamala Harris. You know Nancy Pelosi. Oh, they're not real. Hillary Clinton. They don't exist. Bill Clinton. All females. Yeah. <laughs> is this person currently alive? No. Okay, it's okay, a dead there dude. there you go. We can't dead. possibly know this. Okay, so we know every dead male politician in America ever. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's only like seven of them that actually died. The rest of them live forever like Nancy uh, Pelosi. Was he a president? Yes. Okay, so okay. I know of only two presidents that have ever died. JFK. <laughs> <laughs> JFK and Lincoln are the only ones to ever die. <laughs> Those are the only ones that were assassinated. <laughs> the only ones that died. At least I think. Are there the only two that were assassinated? I think so. Were there any other assassinations besides those two? Uh, not successful. Yeah. No, I, Reagan well, was shot. Obviously. I know yeah. Reagan was shot. Roosevelt was shot. And he just wow. kind of glared at the guy like... Mm. Yeah, Roosevelt. <laughs> Roosevelt, Roosevelt. Roosevelt was a tough guy. He was a Chad. Yeah. yeah. Was, I mean, I, I have a book about him. But after he lost his second election, where he got kind of, he got kind of depressed, and he was like, "Hey, friends, let's go on a jungle cruise to the Amazon," and like almost killed him. Mm-hmm. Like everyone almost died on this journey. It was like the toughest man journey ever. Yeah, and he survived it. So it's either going to be JFK or Lincoln or the fat guy in the bathtub because he's funny. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? I think Taft. Yeah. William Howard Taft. William Howard Taft. That is was it, it. Is it William Howard Taft? No. Okay, it's not William oh, Howard Taft. Oh, wasted a whole question. Okay, so uh, let's let's narrow it down. Uh, do we have video recordings of this person? No. Okay, so this is before old. video. He's old. Is this a beloved president? Mm. It's Lincoln. Is it Lincoln? Yes. Well, it's not Lincoln. Oh, okay. Okay, so it is an older president, not Lincoln. And they are dead. Hang on. I don't think anyone ever got a picture of Jimmy Carter. I think Jimmy Carter Jimmy Carter kind of just slid into the office. And no one Is it Jimmy Carter? Don't ask that question. <laughs> don't ask that. Okay. That was being sarcastic. Listen. Oh. I'll let you not ask the question. Okay. All right. Is he within the first ten presidents? Uh yes. Okay. I really hope it's just George Washington, because I don't know anyone else. <laughs> It might just be George. Is it within the first five presidents? I'll have to check. Oh, he has to check. Oh, no, it's not George. So it can't be George. See, that, that was that was a good question then. No. So he's not I within mean, the... I mean, yes, he Okay, is. he's okay within the first five. Oh, he is. So we know that it's not George because he had to check, unless that was a big bluff. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> if George was the, <laughs> the first five. Okay, Can I so... look th- up a list of them? Because I don't know their names. No, no, no. I, I think we got to go by memory here. So right. um, we got uh, George... Mm-hmm. Then we had um, Ronald Reagan. No, then we had um, Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson was one. Johnny yes. Appleseed. Johnny, did you say Johnny Appleseed? That's what I said. Johnny Appleseed. I, th- I think I know he's not a president. I think uh, Davy Crockett was a president. <laughs> was Davy Crockett a president? Simon Garfield. Simon Garfunkel. Simon Garfunkel's a president. He's a president. Oh, sure. President Simon Garfunkel. Homer, what timeline is this? Homer, President Simon Garfunkel's outside the door. <laughs> Should I let him in? No, how many guesses do we have left? Uh, oh, we have no. six. Six left? Is it Thomas Jefferson? Yes. Yeah. All right. Buddy. I feel smart. I feel way smarter than I did guessing the yeah. arbiter. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for playing. Who wants to have a budget with two digits? 20 questions edition. Right. Brought to you by the Arbiter and Thomas Jefferson. Together at last, like they need to be. I want to see drawings, people. Mm-hmm. I want to see drawings. You didn't even get to go. Well, that was, that was I felt that felt long enough. You, you, okay. Do you want me to do another one? No. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've been preparing something big. What's the news, Mr. I man? know that you this spent... Is, this is the least I've ever researched. You spent all week on this, I can tell. So you know the chip shortage? Like Lay's potato chips? Yep. Pringles? Yeah. They're running out of Pringles. They're did did you have of... another dream where you ran into a <laughs> chip pile? <laughs> no, not this time. 
Man. Maybe that's what your dream was about, the chip shortage. It was the but chip it was, shortage. It was, it was like an allegory. Is that the right word? It was the prediction. It was an allegory for the chip shortage because yeah, the chips in his That's dream. allegory. So like an allegory see, is like a... A similarity. Oh, no, no, it's a... Oh, man, the word left. I can't even... I, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Whatever. Just continue. Right. Anyway. No. See, this is... It was a prediction. The chips are abstraction. going down. Abstraction. Abs- abstraction. Abstraction. So an allegory is like an abstraction... Of something else. Okay, it's like a shadow of something else. Like a shadow. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, the chip shortage. Hang on, Clay was saying something, yeah, and I chip yelled. Chip shortage. It was, the chips are short now. Oh, People yeah. are going to start doing, uh, like, like create bonds and start swapping them. Credit swaps. It's going to build up into a massive multi-trillion dollar bubble. <laughs> the whole economy is going to be built off of. I like it. That sounds stable to Clay, me. That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. Wow. Job well done. Except. We can all go home. Except not because we're talking about Ford, the car dealership company that makes the cars. Who because are the, the chips? Ch- because of the chip shortage, you know, for the technology in the car. Oh, they oh need those chips, chips too. Cars are computers too. Let's start that movement. Cars are computers too. Yeah. I want t shirts. I want bumper stickers. <laughs> and I want TikTok dances. Ew. Yeah, man. Talk about gross. Yeah. Talk about grody. Anyway, Ford is going to start shipping their cars without all the parts, and they'll add them later. So, like, shipping, like, to so us? What? To the yeah. consumer? To the consumer. So will it work? Or the dealership. What do you mean without no. the parts? Like, well, they won't, because they don't have the chip scores, they don't have the parts. Let's just send them unfinished cars. Like, I mean, they do that with video games. Yeah, they do that. That's what oh. I thought the first thing. <laughs> I mean, I heard that, like, they switched to the analog speedometers on some cars because they didn't have the chips to do the digital one. Mm-hmm. Right. So, like, doing it digitally, is it cheaper? I guess. Maybe. There's, less, I mean... Less moving parts. Couldn't, like, a, like Apple releases a new iPhone every single freaking six months. Every two seconds. And surely there are people who buy it every time and they have all these iPhones laying around or whatever. <laughs> Can't they just donate all their iPhones to get chips from them and just repurpose them to run their cars? No. Maybe. They get those chips to run the new iPhone. I mean, the circuit boards, all the material and metal as you could burn down. Because get those materials back. The problem is uh, there's gold in them. Yeah. There's gold in them chips. And we only have like a certain amount. Like we know there's this much gold. Yeah. And we'll run out of gold eventually. So, I mean, there was a big push to, like, start really recycling chips because they're, like, guys, we're treating these, like, disposable products, and there's literally gold in them. Mm-hmm. So, like... Uh, all right, we can get that one asteroid. Yeah, we'll go grab the asteroid. We'll be fine. The one that has all the gold on it? Yeah, the gold asteroid. Then we'll all be billionaires. <laughs> this is, like, this is like modern El Dorado. I'm telling you, there's a gold asteroid. We just got to go get it. And, like, oh, yeah, all these explorers trying to find the gold in asteroid. And they're yeah. going they're all throughout space in the asteroid belt trying to find the golden asteroid and just they never find it. No, they find it. But then they decide we should let it go. They find it like, you know what? It belongs to the native people already living so here. To save yes. there's nobody here. So to make these cars You don't know what they might To make these cars with these chips, for these models that they're sending unfinished, they says doesn't have the start stop feature where when it comes to a stop it turns off the engine to save gas. Okay. And that, that sounds annoying anyway. It is not coming with rear seat controls for air conditioner and heat. <laughs> no. So the car is completely unfinished because your kids cannot control the temperature. That's okay. it? That's that's unbearable. Okay. Those sound like features. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like lie. cars can operate. Like you could just make a car just run on gasoline. Have you ever been in a car that didn't have air conditioning? <laughs> and you're like, yes. this is what we got. Yep. Yep. I had a car that I thought didn't have air conditioning. <laughs> I was told. I was told this car does not have any air conditioning. It's broken. It doesn't work. <laughs> and so an entire summer, I ran. I was driving around in this hot car. And then finally one day I just turned on the AC just to check it out. Like, let's see how much this can do. And then it worked just fine. Talking about things that aren't finished or arrive. Starbucks sends this couple this couple that had this had a late night um taking care of their baby because it was like sick and stuff so they're they didn't have any coffee beans so they couldn't make coffee so they order some starbucks coffee okay via uber eats and so the bag gets to the door 
and it's empty. And on the side of the bag, it says out of stock. What? <laughs> they what? were so confused. It's just an empty did, bag out there. Did, did they buy it? Yeah, they did bought they it. Did they actually take their money? Yeah, they, they paid the Uber Eats and stuff. The Uber Eats guy delivered an empty bag with a sticker on it that said out of stock. Did they get a refund? Because that's like, that's probably illegal. They probably should. They did. Maybe. I think. I, I'm pretty no. sure. If I was Mr. Starbucks man and I heard this was a story going around, I would like <laughs> give them a, give them a year supply of coffee now. Well, not a year supply. And though. give, give me the contact information of the manager of that Starbucks that Listen, did that. Just give them like a, a gift basket. A big gift basket. And yeah. Maybe some strawberries, but don't give them any coffee because they're out of stock. There's no coffee left. We're trying to we're trying to hide this fact for as long as possible before the panic sets in. <laughs> the new guy is like, I'm ready to do my first order. Just take this. <laughs> he's, like, back. he's like, here you go. <laughs> like, but this is this is unethical. <laughs> it's your job. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to another wonderful episode of Tan Pans. Thank you to our legendary patrons, the big time. Navin Jr. and Gil Stronculus. You guys make us work. Actually, yeah, I was about to say, make us us. But I'm like, no, you don't. No. <laughs> We're already <laughs> us. If you guys would like to become a, a subscriber, there is a button you can press beneath my face that has, like, subscribe on it. And, like, there's a bell or something like that. Oh man, now we gotta meet those graphics. You gotta make the no. We're not. We're not gonna do stupid graphics. I'm not because I'm doing it. I'm not yeah. gonna make stupid <laughs> graphics on it. You guys know what to do. You know it. You, I'm. I'm not even gonna say anything else. Well, later. Bye. Bye. Bye.